What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 152 of the Games of Grabs podcast. My name is Sonny G, here as always with Finn Steele. Hello. And Steve. Good evening. And here we are, man. Another week closer to Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <God. Jesus>. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't say that word. Yeah. Yeah. Man. <laughs> you didn't say this, that word on these parts. I don't understand how it's September mm-hmm. already. It's crazy. It's ridiculous. Where's yeah, where's it gone? What well, the summer? Remember that? That one week of summer we had? Yeah, That's... man. The weather was nice for a, a, three couple, days. Of, a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. There's only two, three days here. That's great. Yeah, I mean, if you put it into hours, the amount of like nice weather we had, it probably equates to like twenty three. <laughs> probably, <laughs> <laughs> if that. Like, so it's been nice that week. Is it what, oh, what properly nice or? Yeah, I believe so. Nice probably. for this country because it's looking pretty bleak outside at the minute. It's like it's looking pretty autumny. Yeah. No, it's, uh, Tuesday, according to the. Uh, Fairly reliable weather app I'm using. Next Tuesday, 25 degrees sunny. Next Wednesday, 25 degrees and sunny. Nice. So that yeah. is, yeah. They did say that we might have a bit of a uh, a late uh, heat wave. You mm. see? That's the uh, Kings of Grass go- weather report live. Yeah. We, a weekly <laughs> yeah, weather report. <laughs> I need you have got to watch the news. <laughs> Just get your weather here. This is, this is, Just call me anchor man. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. With a W in front of it. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> nice one. <laughs> he forgets. <laughs> I've, I've, I've... <laughs> 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 oh, that he says oh. this and he forgets that I've got to do a uh, best man speech in a few weeks. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Payback. It's all good. It's all... <laughs> yeah. That's right. Don't you? I, I ain't worried about it. You should <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So yeah, one week closer to Christmas. Uh one day closer to me starting my new job, which is awesome. Ooh. Nice. Good stuff. Very cool. It's my it's my final day at my current job tomorrow. Awesome. Did you see that at fuckers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I'm, I'm just moving departments, so I'm like moving oh. to another building within the same company. Ah, I got you. Then I'm cool, um, going to Steve's house on Saturday to get RKO'd on a bouncy castle. Nice, <laughs> very cool. Don't come to the house. Why? Because it's not at the house. Oh, is it not? <laughs> we'll talk about this off the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> good, good job you said that. Otherwise, you'll be turning up at your house. So where, I the know, like, where the fuck is everyone? <laughs> Read the text message. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Send it to me or did you send it to my better half who can I read it? Sent it to both of you. Did you really? Maybe sent it just to Kaylee. There you go. <laughs> right, there we go. So, there's no point in sending me stuff because... No, I know uh, that. The plans <laughs> just go through her. She just deals with it all. That's much, and it's yeah. much easier that way because that means so I haven't got to think. So he's PA. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, right. <laughs> At least I was just going to turn up at your house anyway for the birthday party that wasn't going to be there. I wish I hadn't said anything now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. That would have, have been brilliant. Uh, there's no cars here. Um... <laughs> okay. No, I'm like, <laughs> Fuck this shit. Let's go home. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't. You want to be no, RKO in Nancy Castle. <laughs> I do, actually. Yeah, it's true. I can't even resist it. Like, I'm all about it. I'm all about wrestling moves on a bouncy castle. I if it's there, it's there for a reason. Not for kids <laughs> to jump and play on and have a great time. It's for the grown-ups to do wrestling moves on. Grown-ups who have broken bodies and shouldn't be doing wrestling moves, but will <laughs> definitely do wrestling moves because they're morons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's fair. Yeah? Yeah. It does sound bad. Yeah. <laughs> right, Finn. Hello. God, this has gone to shit already. <laughs> I have no trail of thought today. Do we ever? No, probably not, actually. <laughs> I mean, this podcast has, like, a couple of things planned, maybe, yeah. per week. Like, <laughs> the segments that we're going to do. We get we, we text and we're like, should we do this this week? No, no, I haven't got it planned. Okay, what about this? Yep, okay, cool. The first podcast of the month writes itself because we do the games of the month. Yeah. Of course. So we haven't, we've got to think even less. Mm-hmm. So if you think we come in here with anything planned, and I'm pretty sure that most of you don't think that because, well, you listen <laughs> to it. it. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You, if, if you do think that we come into this with things planned, you're wrong. <laughs> Finn. Yes. What have you been playing? Can you guess? Well, I've been playing more Persona 5 and... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much. Spot on impression. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, I have been indeed playing Persona 5. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. Uh... Oh, my God. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. Yeah, pretty much. It's all right. Uh, sounded more like uh, David Mitchell a little bit. It's yeah, more you Persona yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it's in the five. Um, and at the end, now I've done on the last little bit they added for uh, for Royal, the Royal version. Platinum uh, trophy? Uh, on, the, on this way, it's pretty much as good as gone. I just need to finish the game. And mm. a Platinum trophy will be mine. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, it's very cool. It's gone into a, in a dire- direction I wasn't expecting, which is cool. Uh, and yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. I, I still don't understand what it is. Like, is it? It's not. Persona 5, is it? Or is it just Persona 5 but with new bits? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Like Persona, Persona 5, 5 pretty much, actually, yeah, pretty much. I did some stuff, balanced some few things, added an extra little uh, bit of gameplay, basically DLC on the end of it. Okay. But, like, balanced the entire game and added a bunch of new stuff as well. Okay. And it's just a very cool game, which I like a lot. Nice. And I'm almost done, and I can move on to something else. How many Fun. hours? I think about, about 150 right now. Ooh. Big, big game, <laughs> but shit. I've enjoyed it. Yeah, stylish as shit. So I mean, you've been getting that style on. That's why you've oh, been yeah. doing. Oh yeah, the music as well. So good. Oh, the music, it, it, the music rips. That's what that's it's what happens there. The music incredible. absolutely rips. Yeah, Persona games have the best soundtracks. It is so yeah. good. Just the most um, Japanese sounding non-Japanese music. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. Uh, so good. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh really? Uh, and, yeah, kind of. Not like I remember, yeah. Turn the fire. It's good. Uh, how about you, Steve? So I have been playing something different but familiar. So upon the purchase of a new laptop so that I no longer have to rely on my phone and it cutting out because it doesn't like StreamYard, <laughs> um, there's only one thing I could do, and that is to load up Football Manager 21, which obviously I got off Game Pass. It's the full PC game, not the... Uh, scale back version that you get on the Xbox or nice. the touch version. So it's the full uh, football manager. And uh, yeah, I am fully addicted already. <laughs> so yeah, fully addicted. And that is pretty much what I've been pay- playing for the, for the last week or so. It's um, still, still fantastic. So it's very, very in depth. I think this is the, it's, it's the first football manager I've played on PC since 2012, to be honest. I know I said it's kind of familiar, but obviously I played the Xbox version of yeah. FM21. Uh, it's very, very different to that. I think very different. It's, it's similar in many ways, but this this is more in-depth because it's PC, and obviously the PC can handle, or laptop, whatever, can handle bigger databases and stuff. But yeah, it's it's um, it's great. I'm having, I'm having fun with it. I've gone with something slightly different i've not gone with the usual and trying to you know managing the team that i support i've gone with a team that is a lot worse than than leicester and tried to rebuild them so i'm uh, I'm, I'm the arsenal manager currently <laughs> yeah. and I'm, I'm you know hoping to keep them out of the relegation battle you know so. tough ask yeah it is a big ask you know they they, they were a big team and now they're not so yeah, um, they are actually rele- relegation fodder now. So I'm only messing. I'm only messing. No, you're not. Leicester are better though. Um, but other than that, sorry, I've just specs off. I smudged them. Um, there we go. That's better. I can see. Um, awesome. I also jumped back into uh, flight sim, and you might have seen people who nice. follow our Instagram uh, might have seen that I took a, a nice little flight through Hurricane Ida. I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh, wow. That is currently raging its way through uh the east coast of america which is is very sad and you know our thoughts go out to everyone that's affected it's it's really really uh ripped through new york in the last 24 hours it's really sad to see but um i did jump onto flight sim and use the live weather um that you can do on the game and uh yeah it was very interesting you know flying through (laughs) hurricane strength winds and looking at the uh 
more sort of in awe of the the graphics and how the clouds look and and, and all of that mm. sort of thing and yeah um bit of a challenge but yeah i mean i don't want to sort of glorify what's going on because it's it's a very sort of tragic event what's happening yeah. but i just thought you know it's like i've said before this is kind of where the uniqueness of this game comes in mm. is that you can go and do those kind of things you know real life you know real weather scenarios so yeah i jumped onto that but that has been it really football manager has retaken over my life much to the delight of my wife and kids <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that's it that's it for me well, i still need to cool. do that i'll do that at some point yeah just you do. <laughs> i would just love to see i just love to see how you deal with it i just <laughs> see, that's, the, see the struggle yeah, I just want to see how how it how it all pans out. <laughs> For me, it'd be the best stream of all time. Yeah, we'll see. I'll, I'll get it done at some point. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I mean, going back to flight sim, what you were just talking about there, Steve. So it's, I mean, that live weather update thing is unbelievable. Like, it's so impressive how we've reached this point in like in gaming where it can be this realistic in terms of yeah. real world real world data yeah and that sort of stuff i mean it's crazy i saw the pictures and yeah it just looks super impressive it's crazy but mm. you know um echoing what you said before um thoughts and stuff go out to everybody affected by the uh, adverse weather conditions that the east coast of america are currently experiencing obviously we wouldn't uh we're, we're not making light of it like you said we're literally just sort of testing out the power of the flight simulator game. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And remember, and remember, I've got a Series S, not a Series X, and the screenshots still look amazing. So. Mind blowing. Yeah. Really, really yeah. good. Yeah. Nice. Um, me, I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut on PS5. Mm. Very nice. I'm sort of like just f f totally zoned in on that at the minute. So I'm probably about twenty hours deep into into the game, and I'm. I think I'm at the back end of Act 2. Been distracted along the way doing little bits like fox dens and cutting up bamboo uh, because they're the minigames and that's, that's just part of the world. Um, before I move on to Act 3, I'm going to go back and do some more of the question marks, uh, cover a bit more of the map and do some of the side stuff. But it's so totally engrossing. Uh, in a way, yeah. I'm almost glad okay. it's taken me so long to really get into it properly because obviously the ps5 version is out now and it looks stunning it plays stunning the the lighting i think is the best i've ever seen in any game world wow i mean it's ridiculous like the the way the um like the light adapts to the different situations so if you're going through the, the trees in the forest or whatever and like the light is coming through the trees it just looks absolutely stunning any time of day that is going on in the game just looks phenomenal and um it's easily one of the best playstation exclusives i know it's you know that typical thing of oh it's one of the best playstation exclusives we say that about all the playstation exclusives yeah, um, but that's a testament to how good playstation exclusives are they just keep getting better and better and better um but yeah ghost to tsushima no exception to the uh, playstation exclusive rule it's truly uh phenomenal i love the combat i love the 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 characters in the game i love that the story that they're, they're telling with it how everybody sort of lost something and they're you know basically seeking redemption um with one common goal in mind and it's just yeah it's it's truly truly phenomenal if you've got a ps5 um you know i Definitely recommend the director's cut version for the PS5. Don't just sort of play the PS4 version. Even though there's nothing wrong with it, it's still unbelievable. If you've got a PS4, play it. It's amazing. But yeah, the the PS5 version is is truly amazing. Does come obviously with the DLC as well, Icky Island, which I'll do after I finish the main story. But yeah, um, can't recommend that enough. But I'm pretty much sort of laser focused on getting that done at the minute. I've played a little bit of Madden 22. Hmm. Now, Sportable. I'm not a big American football guy. All right. If uh, if I was ha if I had to choose an American sport, my sport of choice would be basketball all day, every day. Cool. But um, yeah, I've been playing Madden 22, and I have to say, I really like it. It's um, a refreshing change of pace from playing 
pairs or FIFA because mm. it's something yeah. different. I, I, you know, I understand the rules of American football. Um, some of the X's and O's stuff I don't really get, like with the like the the, the, the defensive tactics at least. Um, a lot of that sort of confusing. You just figure it out as you go along. But it's really <laughs> good. good. The only thing that I would say is that I wish there was a more simplified career mode for morons like me who don't watch the sport. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, um, you know, I mean, Amer- Americans might, you know, play FIFA and be like, what the fuck is this career mode about? Why are they meeting footballers in restaurants and trying to agree agent fees and stuff? <laughs> but with this, like the, the, the career mode is like, it's called franchise mode. So you pretty much manage every aspect of it. And this is a common thing in American sports games like NBA and MLB and that kind of stuff. Um, but it's all very confusing. All I want to do is play my games and see how I can progress in the season. But it doesn't really work like that. There's a lot of sort of, there's different ways you can play the games. You can sort of just play the main bits, like the most important bits, and then the, the computer does the rest. Or like it like cool. sims to the different moments in the game, which is strange to me. Or you could play a full game but it didn't look like there was any sort of way to change the amount of time per quarters. Maybe I need to look into it a little bit more, but that's the only real mm. criticism I've got of it. Um, it's just that it's the, it all seems a little bit overcomplicated. Right. But that might be um, an English person who doesn't watch American football thing. Yeah, maybe. It's like about trying to play any sports game. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, but it's... It's good. Graphically, it's good. Presentation-wise, really, really good. American sports games do seem to really nail that. Cool. Yeah. But, um, yeah, to me, it's just a little bit overcomplicated, especially as like a, a newcomer coming <coughs> in and looking at the game head-on. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it, it is it is very good. But as always with EA games, it's very, very expensive. Obviously, I'm very lucky that I didn't have to pay actual money for it. Um, thanks to EA. Thank you, EA. Nice. But... Um, Oh, thank you very much. You've just been presented with a, a a cup of tea. Nice. There we go. And a Super Mario cup, no less, as well. Look at that. Oh, That's yeah. pretty cool. Nice. Um, so, yeah, it's it's good, but overcomplicated. But if you like American football and you're not a moron like me, then it might be, <laughs> it might be for you. <laughs> I just don't know where to start with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's just uh, yeah, it's one of them one of them weird weird type things. But it's a good game. Um, you know, it'd be difficult for me to sit here and go, it's total shit because I know nothing about American football really, <laughs> apart from the basics. Yeah, and it's called football despite really using your foot to kick the ball. Hand. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> handball yeah. with occasional kicking. Yeah, run ball, <laughs> run ball, hand, yeah. Egg. hand, hand egg. egg, yeah, yeah, hand egg, <laughs> American hand egg. We've just lost all of our. You know, any Americans that listen to this podcast have been like, fuck this. Turn it off. <laughs> down, Sorry, guys. Thumbs down on YouTube. <laughs> snarky comment. Oh, yeah, they think football is when you actually kick a football with your foot. Oh, wait. <laughs> we wish. Sense. I mean, Pat, Pat McAfee kicked a ball. That was his one job <laughs> in, in American football, yeah. from what I understand. Yeah. yeah, he was a kicker, yeah. 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 <laughs> but that's, that's it. He literally was paid for that. Pretty much. One big kick and then hand egg. Yeah. <laughs> One kick, go sit down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a career. Earn millions of dollars. <laughs> oh, know. man. And then get the job doing the SmackDown commentary, because why not? Yeah, why not? And be amazing. <laughs> <at it. laughs> yeah, I'd be really, really good at it, to be fair. Dude sounds very entertaining. I hated him before. Um, then his NXT run gave me a, uh, put a little bit of respect mm-hmm. on him. Sure. Yeah, but when he could turn up at WrestleMania with those shorts and suit top, <laughs> it's like, look at this fucking idiot. Yeah, I hate this guy. And then he, yeah, I just uh, NXT turn up on there. And like, oh, okay, he's actually really, really good. Yeah, he's put the work in. He's had a great match <laughs> with um, Adam Cole, and he's done some good heel work with along with Pete Dunne and stuff. Uh, so yeah, fair enough. We yeah. forgive you for wearing shorts at WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah. Fair yeah, later. So yeah, that's what I've been playing this week. But cool. yeah, uh, nice. my aim is to keep plowing through Ghost of Tsushima. Um, I'm hoping by the time we record next week, I've done it because there's other stuff coming up that I do want to play. Um, but I want that done before I do anything else. Cool. Good stuff. Um, right. Any gaming news? Uh, we've got a few things. Nothing uh, super major. Uh, let's have a look. Super major. Uh, 
Super Major, new game coming from Finn Studios. Uh. <laughs> oh, not this again. Remember, God, how, how it must have been. I mean, it must have been at least a hundred episodes ago. Oh, I'm talking about bits and bobs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am talking about bits and bobs. Yeah. Yeah, coming coming soon. Still, twenty twenty two. Yeah, we've delayed it a few times because we want to make the game better. Yeah. We don't want to cyberpunk it. <laughs> Of course. Yeah. Speaking of cyberpunk, mm. segue. Um, apparently, uh, with the Witcher three uh, and cyberpunk uh, PS5 versions, uh, are still set to release this year. Are they? Um, yeah, it's not going to happen. But no. <laughs> according to CD Projekt Red, they they are still saying, yeah, yeah, it's still coming, it's happening. Right. They've got not. just they've got. There's three months left of this year. <laughs> yeah. You're running out of time, dudes. <laughs> yeah, to, to 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 upgrade two massive games. Yeah, and fix one of them so it actually works. Yeah, exactly. So they've got a huge task on their hands with Cyberpunk. The Witcher, I honestly don't think you really need to fix because it looks no. phenomenal. Well, it looks it's amazing, great on yeah. Xbox, at least. Yeah, let's go out on PS4, make it 60 FPS, and you're good. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> it looks great. Not everything has to have a next, you know, an upgrade. Yeah, just patch it. Took the FPS patch. Job done. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But Cyberpunk, that's, you know, shite. <laughs> I can't even begin to put it any other way. It's just yeah. not a good game. Yeah, just saying it, it, looked, it looks so promising, but it just, just doesn't work. It's a, good, <laughs> it's, a there's a, it's a great game in there, a wonderful world. Um, but they just, they, you know, they should have just waited. They should have just been like, look, we can't get it out. We need it to be, or after all the hype, we need it to be, you know, hype worthy. Yeah. And it came out and it was fucked and they got laughed at and it, you know, got took off the PlayStation store and all that <laughs> yeah. sort of stuff. And I don't see it recovering from it. No, I don't. Shame. Yeah. Hopefully we're wrong. Hopefully it turns out the PS5 version is amazing. And you know, we'll all play and it'd be great, but yeah, at this we'll, point... we'll look forward to playing Cyberpunk on the PS6. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, at this point, it's not looking good. No, no, um, this bit of news looks very promising. They showed off the uh Dead Space uh remake they're doing, mm. still very early in development. They're showing, showing up some screenshots, and it yeah. looks very, very pretty. And I'm very excited, I love this game. Yeah, man, definitely. Uh, I like that they're rebuilding it from the ground up. I think what they've done is they've obviously seen the success that Capcom have had with uh, Resident Evil doing this. Yeah. And obviously thought, hey, this is a popular game. Well, we can do this too. And they're right, and we're all very excited for it. Yeah, it's so good. Such a good game. The, the, the originals are still so playable now. They're just so, so good. Yeah, the AC remaster, come on. Trilogy, do it. Yeah, pop them out, get people excited for the new one. Yeah, and I love that uh, the, the, that gun is still uh, one of the best guns ever in video games. It's very cool. It's cutting up once this. Yeah, so cool. it was just so clever, like the way. Um, what the hell's it called? Um, Plasma cutter. Yeah, that's the one. Like where you just like aim at body parts, and that body part comes off. It was yeah. just great. You know, it was so just the, the way that it worked, the way you could do it horizontal and vertical. It just, it was just so great and worked so well. And I can't, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for the new one. Yeah, me neither. Like, I've been talking about making me want to go back and play the originals now. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's so good. Anyway, next bit of news we have the uh, PlayStation games for September 2021. Business Plus games have been announced. Mm -hmm. uh, it's rumored a while ago, and that rumor has been uh, confirmed. We've got the PS5 version of Overcooked, All You Can Eat. We just dreamed cool. that. Um, along yep. with Predator Hunting Grounds at the Hitman 2 on PS4. Yeah. Um, I was speaking to Gaming Mule actually earlier on about Predator Hunting Grounds. Oh, yeah. He said it's shit, and I'm not surprised. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shocking. But for free, but, I'll try it. Yeah, I did look at the trailer. It looked all right on the trailer, but yeah. Yeah, the trailer's going to make anything look good. So mm. uh, Yeah, Aliens Colonial Marines looked good <laughs> on the trailer, and then that turned out to be a pile of garbage. Yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, hit, that's a good month again. Overcooked is the uh, all-you-can-eat version, so it's the PlayStation 5 version, and it's that and all of its DLC, which is awesome. Very cool. Mm. Very cool. We need to get back on that. 
Yeah. Um, God, that was that's infuriating. That game. Good God. <laughs> so infuriating. What a game, but... though. So good. Um, I'm quite... assuming it's just like um, enhanced frame rate and resolution because it's yeah. a native PS5 version, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so just be nice and smoother and pretty and good. Cool. Cool stuff. Um, it's a bit, of, a bit of funny slash weird no- uh, noise news. Uh, there's some words. new words. There's some new rules as far as the rating system goes in uh, the UK slash Europe. Mm-hmm. Uh, which would mean um, plastic Pokemon games and uh, I think Mario 64 DS would get rated uh, 18 if they would get to get come out today. Okay. Uh, and it's due to gambling in video games. It's a new rule. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. So in the okay. <laughs> in the original Pokemon games, there was like a game corner. I think it was called. Yeah. With like slot machines, and you could like bet money in there, win you know more money, I guess. Uh, and that's apparently a bad thing. Um, and also in Mario 64 DS, it had like little mini games, which had a similar thing. You could play poker and like a poker mini game and stuff that's like a that. little. It's a little daft though, isn't it? It's when you think daft. when you it's think stupid. about it, if it's, it's not like it's online gambling. Yeah, it's not real gambling. It's just yeah. I guess it's don't want kids to get addicted to gambling. But I played Pokemon and Mario 64 DS, and I'm not addicted to gambling. No, not at all. <laughs> I, I, I played. Games. So what are you going to do? Ban Sonic 2, the casino night level, where you uh, <laughs> yeah. where you fall into the thing and the three like yeah. thingies come down and you win rings. Gambling. Yeah. Sonic 2, 18 confirmed. <laughs> Let's give Sonic yeah. a fucking gun. <laughs> well, got Shoot the bad guys from far away instead of having to run through them. Yeah, there you go. Um, dumb, 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 dumb. So dumb. But yeah, I mean, if they were get to get re-released today, they would have to remove the gambling and stuff, which is stupid. So stupid. Everything's yeah. so strict these days. You can't do anything. Just, nothing's fun anymore. I <laughs> know, no, right? So no, no, no fun allowed. You gotta, you know, take all the good stuff out. Just have, you know, yeah. stick drawings. The game. Japan would be <laughs> fucked. <you> Imagine <laughs> if like, they did the re- re-rating of games in Japan for the stuff that they have in their games. Everything would, would be banned forever. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable! It's so dumb. They've already got their genitals blurred out. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> uh, so the next bit of news we got is the uh, Xbox Game Pass uh, new games of the month. Uh, we have uh, Craftopia. No, oh, that's uh, Signs of the so- Sojourner. Sojourner. Words. Well, I have no idea. There's no description of saying what these games are. Um, Surgeon Simulator 2. That's a fun, stupid game. Okay. Uh, Crown Trick. Uh, Breath Edge. Nuclear Thorn. The Artful Escape. And the game you've heard of, Final Fantasy XIII. Wait. <laughs> these, I mean, this obviously, you know, we've got a segment coming up where we basically take the piss out of games that we've never heard of because their names are stupid. Yeah, this is this is that basically. Is that these are all yep. games. This is this yeah. is games of the month light. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of random stuff I've never heard of, and Final Fantasy Thirteen. Yeah, random. Cool. But hey, if you if you want, you know, more free games is always a good thing. Want we'll to try them well, out? There could be a yeah, hidden gem it, in there. Yeah. You never know. Very cool. Yeah. And the other thing I saw, which is quite interesting, is there is a rumor that the Uncharted collection is coming to PC. Mm. Mm. Very yeah cool. uh, i'm not sure how legit it is but um yeah well, that'd be very cool if true and it would also sort of tie in with um i don't know if you saw this earlier on or not finn but uh there's a playstation showcase next thursday ah uh, yes of course yes um so thursday september the 9th 9 p.m our time mm. um so well, you europe not sure about yeah. Europe. You yeah, have to, go, you have to Google time. the European times. No. <laughs> 9 p.m. BST. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's a PlayStation showcase. It's basically going to show what the future holds for, uh, well, PlayStation, basically. Yeah. Very cool. So maybe they'll show it there. And maybe we'll get a, like a native PS5 version of Uncharted. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd be down with that. I'd love that shit. Yeah. Awesome. Um, and that's about it. Oh, yeah, Sonic Colors. Uh, has had this review scores coming. Things comes out this week, Sonic, um, and it's good. Is it out this week? Is it this week or next week? I think it's, I think it's this week. 
we'll find out soon. Um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, <we will. laughs> yeah, it looks great. It's, it's I had a lot better than the Wii version. Uh, I can't wait to play it. You said that one was good though. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's amazing. It's great. But I mean, graphically, it looks a lot better. Obviously, that was in SD still, and it's added. Yeah, it's better, <laughs> better lighting, better everything. SD. Yeah. That remember remember SD. that? Remember SD? Yeah, yeah, when we were fucking paupers. I know, right? SD. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, the Wii didn't even have HDMI. It was like, it was SCART. SCART, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get a yeah. gold one, it would be better. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Christ. Um, yeah, so, I, yeah, the reviews do look uh, pretty tasty for it, which is good. Yeah. Uh, the sad thing is apparently the uh, physical version got delayed for whatever random reason. Uh, it's, got wait, yeah. it's got to wait a little bit longer for that. But So yeah, will you go game. digital or? Uh, no, I'll, I'm okay to wait. I've got enough to keep me going for now. So is there a, like a collector's edition you're holding out for or do you just want I think it's just version? I think it's just a physical version to be fair. I think it comes with like a key ring or something. But Okay. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, you know me. I like my physical games. So I'll wait. Yeah. Mm. Speaking of, Horizon Forbidden West is now available to pre-order. It's got like a super duper fancy collector's edition with a, a big dinosaur robot statue. It does indeed. And there's someone in our Discord that's very excited about that. Yep. It's got his pre-order in. <laughs> Certainly <laughs> has. The collector's edition does look cool as shit, to be fair. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah. If I had more money, I'd probably get one myself. But I don't. That's fair. <laughs> I used to get quite a few collector's editions, even things like basic games I wasn't that interested in. Because uh, I'm an idiot. I hate money. <laughs> <laughs> it was back then. <laughs> I just hate uh, money. Yeah, it's hate it. It sucks. Don't need it. <laughs> Fuck you, money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, money. Uh, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all the biggest news of the week that I can find. Cool. Uh, yeah. So from that, how about we go into the games of the month? Yeah. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Let's Let me bring up the screen. Two seconds. Second if we've missed any gaming this. news, there's a very good chance that uh, feedyourgeek.com have picked it up. So um, yeah, go, go, go and go. check out feedyourgeek.com for uh, gaming news, and also there's a link to our podcast on there as well. So it's all good. Hell yeah! Yep. Good stuff. Right here we are. Let's have a look at the games. Um. So, let's go through the biggest ones. Um, El Shaddai is a game that came out on 360 and PS3, and it's very good. It's now coming out, finally, on PC. Okay. On the first, or it's out now on PC. What is and it? It's a combination of 2D and 3D platforming with a slick and energizing combat with this rich biblical take on a uh, tale and stunning graphics. Players will need to harness natural combat skills to master a range of powerful and heavenly weapons under the guidance of the watchful archer. Blah, 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 blah. It's a good game. It's very artistic, very cool. Uh, it's a fun like platformer. Okay, can we watch the arty. trailer? No. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so this is what's it called? Sorry, El Shaddai. El Shaddai. Yeah. Ascension of the Metatron. Enoch. Ah, Kami was a Jordi Japanese statue. Enka ye tsure modose. Zore ga omae no shime. Any game? Let's get the gameplay. Cool combat. Okay, not a great trailer. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's a good game. Trust me. So Japanese. <laughs> What's uh, Lake? Boy. Well, that sounds like what the worst game of all time. Um, it's September first, nineteen eighty-six. You take on the role of forty-something Meredith Weiss. Who returns from the big city to her quiet hometown? She exchanges her busy career at a software company to fill in for her dad, the local mail carrier. Uh, it's like a artsy game, a uh, walking simulator, maybe. Town to fill in for her dad, a mail carrier. Mm. What you just said? Cool. Really have to. <laughs> Two weeks is a lifetime. Best friend K. <sighs> artsy party story <laughs> game. Cool. <laughs> that looks so bad. Oh. It was. It wasn't great. Comes out Xbox also, what a boring as shit description. She leaves yeah. her busy life to <laughs> go and take over her dad's previous job as a motherfucking postman. It sounds like a boring TV show. Yeah, they find a way. I mean, yeah. oh god, awful. <laughs> uh, good times. Whoops. 
Uh, right, Cookie Licker. Isn't that like a, a mobile game? Don't know, it sounds like a porno. Yeah. Yeah, it's a mobile game where you click, click a cookie, and now it's out on PC. Cool. Right, cool. Um, <laughs> Surgeon Simulator 2, first game was... Uh, hard. Just hard, <laughs> and funny, and just a silly Darth game. Um, it's all over YouTube. Really sick. When it first came out. Hey, look, you're cutting up. What's wrong with this guy? Uh, <laughs> bodies and putting their organs back in. At the brink of life and death. Coming soon. A medical drama like no other. Do you have the heart to take medicine to... Wait a minute. Uh, that's a kidney. Oh, very well. Do you have the kidney to take medicine to the next level? Four surgeons, three scalpels, two lungs, one lung, zero time off. <laughs> After all, there is no I in medical facility. Because here, <laughs> I love that. It makes now perfect. Back to the team. Surgeon Simulator 2. Coming soon to an Xbox near you. That's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, that, them games are so crazy. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, coming to, it's on Xbox Game Pass, and I'm assuming that's today because it comes out today. Uh, yeah. Yes, today. Very cool. cool. What else? Uh, Rico London looks pretty interesting. Um, oh, yeah? I've played the, the first one. I think it was like a procedurally generated uh, FPS. I played oh, it on right. Switch, and I wasn't very good at it, so... Uh, uh, doesn't want to load. That's great. Uh, apparently not. Oh, there he is. Oh, here we go. Cool. Let's have a look at the trailer. Yeah, so it is a direct Maybe sequel 15. to uh, the... the time. Me? Somewhere in mm. East London, a local firm of gangsters is buying enough guns to wage war on the entire... Oh, it's like a comic book style, like a... Mm. Yeah, like so a 13 so so yeah. Yeah. Got 13, remember when they remade that shit? Oh, God. <laughs> Original game, good. Remake, not good. Shite. Yeah. What a disaster that was. Yeah, uh, yeah, that is cool. I like that. Yeah. It was really good. Yeah. Fun. Comes out on literally everything. So that's good. Yep. And that's out today as well at time of recording, 2nd of September. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, Guitar... Guitar... Guitaria Fables. Active adventure fused with RPG and farming elements. Just like everything else. Uh, yeah. <laughs> every other indie game. Um, Bully the Bold 2, that is a Switch game, uh, RPG from the makers of Final Fantasy. Um, out now on PC, recommend checking it out. Cool. It's good. If you like, fine, if you like old school Final Fantasy games, this is basically that. Oh, okay. Turn based, yeah, turn based, job based RPG. Uh, yeah, very cool, very old school. Hmm. Love it. Um, Mini Golf Tour, I think, is this the one, the one I'm thinking of? No. Um, uh, it's a mini golf game. Mini putt or putt putt. It's a sports game in which participants compete. Like, it's mini golf. You know what okay. mini golf is. Yeah. yeah, and it looks like mini golf. Great. <laughs> yeah, very basic mini golf game. Cool. Yeah, it's out today again. Um, um, also, medium. the uh, Creed boxing is out tomorrow. Oh, that one. Yeah, big uh, so, rumble. So, uh, big rumble. Big. What's it called? Big rumble boxing. Yeah. Creed Champions. So basically, it's based on the Rocky franchise, brought to you by the same people that made the Creed uh, VR game that came out on PSVR last year, I think, or oh, 2018, a yeah. couple of years ago, when the last Creed movie came out. Um, it's got all the Rocky boxes and stuff in there. Uh, apparently, it's got a like a brief like story mode for each character, which tells sort of their side of things from the Rocky universe. Uh, but cool. yeah, uh, it looks cool. I love the Rocky games from the GameCube and stuff and the PS2. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm hoping this is sort of more of the same. It looks fun. Arcade action. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, the medium comes to PS5 um, on the 3rd, which is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, great game. Recommend checking it out. Got easy trade for this if you uh, to find a collectible guide. Nice to eat platinum. Yep, uh, it's already on and Xbox short. Game Pass on yep. Xbox Series X slash S as well. Yep, it's only about four hours long. Worth checking out. If you want it cheap. One is about 50 quid, but no. Much. No, I don't think it is a 50 quid game, actually. I think it's well, not? cheaper. Okay, that's good. Might be wrong. Yes. We'll Probably see. wrong. Probably wrong. <laughs> um, what else? What is this? Prinny is a mascot from a uh, RPG series called Disgaea. Um, this bundle contains Phantom Brave 
and a bunch of remasters. That's cool. Oh, it's like tactics RPGs. Okay. That's fine. A few remasters of old school NOS games. Cool. If you're into that, would you not? No. Nope. <laughs> no one listening to this probably is, but it's pretty cool. Well, nerds like me. Um, Nothing wrong with that, Finn. <laughs> I know. It's all good. Uh, Sonic Colors comes out next week, next um, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. Wow, reviews are out soon for that then. Well, like, they quick. are. So quick. Sat in four days' time. I'm saying I've sat in four days' time. Yeah, okay, okay fair mm. enough. Oh yeah, um, but yeah, it's Sonic. It looks great. It's the Wii version. Switch as well, is it? Yeah, everything. Yeah, PC, wow. PS4, Switch, Xbox One. Very cool. Cool. I recommend checking it out. One of the best uh, 3D Sonic games, in my opinion. Yeah, I'll definitely well check playing. it out. I do love a good Sonic game, me. Yeah, me too. Nice, a decent trade list as well. It's basically collect all the things and beat all the levels. Yeah, I had a quick look at that earlier better. on. Actually, what's Fist? Fist. So the porn game is that what that says? Uh. Two, two oh, F- 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 FIST. Fist. Forge in Shadow Torch. That's 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 butchered. Of course, that's, yeah. That, that's that's <laughs> uh, it's a thing, right, with, with games like this. I don't know if it's a part of a franchise or whatever, but, you know, Forged in Shadow Torch, like, just call it Fist. <laughs> like, yeah. the, 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 the Forged in Shadow Torch means fuck all unless you play the game and do the story. Yeah, like you can explain it in game, but you don't need don't need it in the title. Yeah, it's like it's like almost a superhero, Nikki, almost a superhero. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, what is it? It's, it's a, a it's like a rabbit there. Yeah, take a glimpse of the original story in an arcade style combat in an interconnected Metroidvania. Ooh, game map combining blah blah. Let's have a look at the trailer. Must you go back? Gameplay. Oh, that looks great. Pretty. That's cool. Mm. That looks okay. It does actually. Yeah, it actually doesn't look terrible at all. Cool. I'll play that. Art style looks cool. Yeah. Yeah, the art style does look cool. (laughs) One to yeah. keep an eye on, even with a stupid name. Yeah, stupid name, but a cool-looking <laughs> game. Yeah. Um, what else have we got? Uh, oh, Tales of Rise. I played a demo of that. It's very good. It's a JRPG. I know. Um, it's the next game in a long-winning series. It's a Tales of whatever. Uh, most popular one was Tales of Symphonia on the GameCube, which is where the series kind of picked I've heard up. Of that. Yeah, it's very popular JRPG mm. from back in the day. And then there was uh, Tales of Vesperia on Xbox 360, which is the also a very well. good, yeah, also a very good entry. And then there's been a bunch since then, which have been kind of meh. But this is like the next big one, which is like probably next gen PS5. Looks cool. very pretty. Uh, here's a screenshot. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Yeah, cool. Yeah, cool. So I'll be checking that one out. Uh, Life is Strange, True Colors, the new game mm. in the series. Um, I haven't actually played the first one or two. Oh, get out, Finn. I know. I think I have it on somewhere. Right. You need to play... Right. When you finish Persona, your homework is to play Life is Strange because <laughs> okay. it's it's wonderful. Yeah, I've heard it's... good things. One of those games I always mean to go back to. I was like, I never do. Maybe I should. Yeah, it's so good. You, easy Platinum as well. Yeah? Yeah. That's a bonus. Uh, but it's excellent. Great soundtrack, great characters, wonderful story. This new one, basically, because usually they're episodic, so yeah. um, they're broken into parts. This one is a full game all at once. So no episodes, uh, just straight into it. And uh, there is a remaster of the first ones coming next year now. Next year? Oh, okay. Maybe it was a wait. Nope. Mm. No. <laughs> nope, wait now. This is... NBA uh, 2K22 launches next week as well. Cool. Very nice. Oh, yeah, there it is. Sports. That'll sell a shitload. Always does. Sports yep, sports. NBA. Very popular. Yeah. If only they can make wrestling games that good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if only. Uh, if only. If only. I've heard of this game. Lost and Random. Uh, welcome to the world of Random, a dark kingdom where every citizen's future is determined by a roll of the dice. Sounds like this podcast. It does a bit. 
Hör, aber komm, wir haben ja ein paar Leute. Mal wieder zusammen. It's probably lost in some random PlayStation livestream somewhere. Yeah, probably. All cards contain new attacks, abilities, and more. Mm. All of which come in handy during dice battle. Oh, the outside. Jesus. Card battling and dice battling. Mm. This can knock off energy cubes. Look, look into them. It does the actually, yeah. Yeah, the outside are really nice. I've heard of this as well, but I'm not sure where from. Yeah, me too. Coming out and everything. <laughs> yeah, literally everything. So that's cool. Uh, the new Warrior Wear gets it mm. together. Come on, I did play the demo, Sonny. Uh, you know what? I still haven't. No. Oh, I've, been, so I've, been too, I've been too engrossed playing uh, Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> it's really, really fun. I look forward to playing that. Uh, coming out on in seven days, on the 10th. Yeah, I know. Wow, I'm like coming it. out within the week. Next week is ridiculous, actually. These next, in fact, this month is crazy. Yeah, mm. insane. But yeah, this is one I'll definitely get. Yeah, definitely. I don't watch the trailer because Nintendo will have us. <laughs> no, yeah, <laughs> we'll be we'll be gone, banned forever. Deathloop is a game a lot of people are excited for. Yeah, comes out in eleven days. <laughs> Another big one. Jesus. Yeah, this one looks really good as well. Yeah. Um, I wasn't wasn't too keen on it at the start uh, when I first saw it, but uh, yeah, I think it looks really good. So. Um, uh, I'm not going to check it out. I'm going to wait until it drops in price uh, or comes to Xbox on Game Pass. Uh, yeah, same. Simply because there's just too much to play already. Uh, look but... at the game next to it, the one with the cars. Cruise and Blast. Yeah. Now, I played this in the arcades when I was on holiday the other week. Oh, really? And it's awesome. Nice. Mm. It's only coming out on Switch, I think. Um, yeah. So basically, think uh, an arcade racer made right. by Sega. That's what it is. Awesome. Is it a good trailer? Oh, Nintendo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fine if it's fine. <laughs> yeah. You can talk about the music it. already. Fine. See? Yeah. This, this, that, it's an arcade racing game. <laughs> Outrun. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Cruising Blast. That looks very fun. That looks cool. Uh, there's, uh, there's like some really cool real life like tracks on it. It's got all the ones from the arcade and it's got brand new ones for console. So like, yeah, you got like fantasy ones like that. And then I think the trailer shows the Rio de Janeiro track in a minute, which is really cool. Awesome. Um, basically, you, you go up a slope and you basically fly past Christ the Redeemer and <laughs> um, like the Rio de Janeiro football stadium. Wow. Nice. I, think it, I think it shows you in a second, but it, it was so much fun in the arcade to play. Um, and usually I'm, I'm shit at these games, but this was an absolute... It was a cruise and blast. That's what it was. Hey. hey. <laughs> and a shit, but here we go. So it'll probably show you now. Oh. Oh. Thanks, hey. There yes. it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So that's coming out next week uh, or the week after. But that looks really good. I'm, uh, I'm going to get it because uh, I thought it was cool. And when I awesome. saw it, I, I even said when we were there, I was like, this would be so cool if it came to Switch or something. And then <laughs> it came up. My phone obviously heard me because then when I was scrolling through Facebook, an article was there saying Cruise and Blast was coming to Switch. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. They're watching us. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at this one. Cat lateral damage re uh, <laughs> this is a game that This again, it came out a while ago. Um, it's another one that was like, a bit silly, like um, Sergeant Simulator. That was all over YouTube. Basically, you control a cat. You jump around and knock things off shelves like a cat would. Cool. Uh, look at the trailer. Oh, kitty. Cookie. Danny, after gameplay. There's a cat. Oh. So, yeah, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> Unroll the toilet paper. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, you play as a cat being a cat, doing cool cat things. <laughs> this looks awesome. It does. <laughs> uh, Destroy oh. everything you love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nap time. Oh, a kitty. But yeah, another silly game that looks far too fun. Uh, what else have we got? Skatebird uh, finally coming out by the looks of it. Skatebird? Skatebird? Hmm, what's that? Uh, literally what it is. Well, literally what it a, sounds like. A skating bird, ah. Yep. <laughs> Pick flip over staples and get going. This was one of the. Um, you remember last year when uh, Xbox had all them demos on the store? Oh, yeah. Uh, this is, is one, of, one of them when I played it, and it's uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, it's cute. 
What else? Literally Tony Hawk. Hey. Tony, Tony. the Hawk. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> 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 I need Tumbleweed, that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, cool. I think I'm into it. I've heard it. I recognize the box art. It might be a game that's already out in some places. Um, there's so, a, well, there's an Origami 1. True. I might be thinking of that one. Uh, third person stealth game where it plays an assassin with the power to control the shadows. Join the shadow clan and fight the invader in invader armies to protect your people. Hmm. Looks, looks okay. Yeah, it looks all right. Looks decent. Yeah. Uh, Nino people Goonie 2. have no money this month. Uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Neither can you too, which is a JRPG. Shockingly, comes to Switch. It's been out on Not PS4 many for. This month. No, I know, right? It's been out on PS4 for a long time. Uh, highly reviewed, 87 on Metacritic. Very nice. Cool. Yeah, check it out. Check it out, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kina, Kena. Kena. Is that out this month, is it? Uh, two weeks, yes, September 21st. Oh, I thought it was put back. Maybe it was just. Maybe this year's was. gone so quick that it was just put back <laughs> to then. Yeah, other than that, this is an old list. Um, I don't think... I'm going to have a look. Uh, let me have a look on the PlayStation Store while I've got my phone in my hand. But yeah, this is a very another anticipated game for PS5. It looks yeah, it looks super, super pretty. It looks really good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Kenna, Bridge of Spirits. Come on, bitch. There we go. Yeah, 21st of <laughs> September. Thirty two ninety nine. Good price. Another game. Another big game. Uh, Pokemon Unite. Audio out on Switch coming to iOS and Android. Cool. Looks a lot of people love this game. It's um, yeah, I played it. Yeah, League of Legends about Pokemon. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um, some people like it, some people don't. <sighs> yeah, if you have into those kind of games, you'll love it. Yeah, and Pokemon. free to play Pokemon's with great. microtransactions. Yeah, exactly. Um, this caught me eye because Final Fantasy. Uh, collection of Saga Final Fantasy Legend. Oh, just the oh, the Game Boy games, right? I know I've had it somewhere. Jesus. A collection of the Final Fantasy Game Boy games, which wow. was known as yeah, known of oh, a different name in Japan. I can't remember the name of it. I had Saga in the word of it. <laughs> is that, was that, that the one? Out? Oh, that's coming out on phones, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I yeah. Think this is the one. There was a video that went viral around the time of um, E3. And there was two guys that this this came up. They thought it was a new Final Fantasy game. Oh. They were going. They were really marking out, proper marking out. And then it was this. Yes, <laughs> yes, I remember. Do you remember? Do you remember uh, it? Yeah, I do remember it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> I saw a rumor today that uh, Nintendo might be bringing Game Boy and Game Boy Color games to uh, Nintendo Switch Online. That'd be cool. There you go. That would. Um, yeah, yeah. Mario Land games would be cool. Games. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, mm. Yes, it's coming out on phones, PC, and Switch. Nice. It's coming out on Switch, that? Yeah. Very cool. Diablo 2, man. Oh, hell yeah. Diablo 2 Resurrected. It's coming, made by the guys who did the Tony Hawk remaster. Or at least they're oh, involved man, in it. It looks so good. It does. It I'm does. I'm getting this. I mean, I can't wait. I love Diablo 3 so much. But this. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm excited. I've never played Diablo 2, so. Um, to have this coming out on sort of newer consoles, yeah, man, I'm all about it. Yeah, very, very yeah, cool. I'm definitely going to pick that up for sure. Me too. <clears throat> yeah, like you, I never played the originals. Uh, played three briefly, but I do want to play two. Briefly? I thought you played quite a lot of it. Um, no, I started to play it and just kind of lost interest after a little while. I played a I shitload of it. I finished <laughs> it, I think, with two different characters. Oh, yeah? Wow. Um, but it's so good. It's so, so good, man. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, Death Stranding, PS5 version. It's oh, Jesus, cut. yeah. God. So this is one of the ones that I do want to play, so I want to get Ghost of Tsushima out of the way first, So I want yeah. to play the PS5 version of it. Um, it's so weird. Just a, just a weird game. So, so weird. I've had this on PS4. Uh, loved it. I loved one of these level 80 games. I loved it. It's so weird and bizarre. Uh, at the same time, kind of relaxing. It's just kind of walking around, delivering yeah. stuff. Not them too stressful. You can go up to like enemies and stuff like that, which you can avoid. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just really good. I can't. You can't really. Not a game you can describe. But there's nothing else quite no, like it. No, you can't categorize it at all. It's basically <laughs> just Kojima game. <laughs> Kojima the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Inside the brain of Hideo Kojima. The yeah. Game. <laughs> but yeah, very cool. Check that out if you haven't already. 
Um, Lost what judgment. else? God, keep going. Lost Judgment, the newest, uh, well, the sequel to Judgment, which is a spin-off from the Yakuza series. Yep. It comes out on PS4. Lazy right, naming, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> judgment, Lost Judgment, um, Forgotten Judgment. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> that, that's, that's probably what they'll do. They'll probably. Keep, because these games are real popular, so they'll just keep making them, and it'll just have the word Judgment in there somewhere. Yeah. I didn't manage beyond, to... beyond judgment, that's not <laughs> stuff like that. But yeah, they made these games so quick. Like, they yeah, got they judgment, they got quick, Yakuza, yeah. and then another judgment. It's, it's so quick. Yeah, they're all the same game, just with different skin on. <laughs> Pretty much, but they're all good at the same time. They all get reviewed well. Yeah, it's crazy. Ghost Runner, um, yep. a next gen version of that coming. Very cool. That looks really good, actually. I do want. I wanted to play it before, I never got around to it. But if you remember rightly, I think when they first showed the the Xbox. Series X off, yeah. Um, last year or whenever it was, this was one of the games that was um, that was on there. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. It looks really cool. It's like a like a cyberpunky type thing. Um, I, I, I'm not sure what it is, but it just looks very cool. Yeah, awesome. Um, what else? What else? Anything more? Uh, oh, sports. <laughs> Bro, both twenty two. E football, uh, it's called now. Yeah, e football twenty two. The free to play version launches. Um, well, it is all free to play, but launches thirtieth of September. Yeah, you excited for this? Uh, uh, yeah, I, you know I am actually, but um, I like what they're telling us about what it's going to be. Mm. But I'm worried about the gameplay because eventually you're going to be able to cross play with people who are on mobile devices. Right, okay. And that worries me for how if they've dumbed down the um console versions. They they people are saying people that have played it are sort of saying they've not and it you know, it looks a lot better graphically than what they've showed us so far um on the next gen consoles, but obviously, you know, it's very difficult to say until you play it yourself. But 30th of September yeah. comes out free to play. Um uh, launches with nine teams that you can play online with. Um you can play local and online. Okay, um, and then more stuff is coming as the months go on. Cool. But yes, I, it's pairs. I love pairs, um, but I'm. I have to be honest. I'm a little. I'm going in sort of a little bit skeptical. But at the end of the day, it's free to play. So if it's shite, I can delete it and play something else. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, it's, if it's free to play, something that you know the, the likelihood is they will improve it over the year. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know the season season stuff coming in as there is with everything these days, where you unlock stuff in season passes, and there's a uh, a version of my club coming, and so there's you know what they're saying is promising, but I I just want to see next gen gameplay, um, and then yeah I'll be happy. Yeah, cool. Um, in certain stands on that box art is identical to spec up the line. Yes, box it is. Art. <laughs> what a game Listen, that is, by the way. That's amazing, amazing game. Needs I'm amazed that. they've never remastered that. Because I know, that right? was really popular. I know, it reviewed poorly for some reason, but people who played it were like, no, this is amazing. Yeah, I, think... I, don't, know reviewed, I don't know why it reviewed bad. Because yeah, this... it was really good. Nolan North was one of the was like the main character. Um, yeah, the story was incredible. Yeah, it was really good. Like The atmosphere in like, the world that it was set in uh, was great. The gunplay was great. I'm really... I'm surprised that um, they've not remade that and they're making bullshit like this instead. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I'm joking. Yeah. I don't know nothing about this. It might be good. Yeah, you know, it's, but that's literally a copy paste of the box art. That's yeah. shocking. Um, it's an FPS. That's what you need to know about that. <laughs> <General Ooh. FPS. laughs> um, Hot Wheels. That looks good. Hot Ooh. Wheels, PS5. Unleashed. Collect the best vehicles in the Hot Wheels universe, build spectacular tracks, and drive into uh, breathtaking races. Let's have a yeah, look it looks at good. The trailer. Yep. <laughs> oh. Cheers. And more. <laughs> and more. And yeah, Hot Wheels. Yeah, Ooh. exactly. It's Hot Wheels, yeah. It looks Horse. really good. DeLorean, nice. Turtles Man. Yeah. <laughs> Wheat. That's the cool thing about uh, games like uh, Hot Wheels. Like with the, um, the licenses that they've had over the yeah. years, it uh, probably yeah. gives them a bit more. Um, like freedom to add cool stuff in. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um, this caught me eye because of the title, Melty Blood. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's a JRPG. Um, 
Yeah, it's either that or a 2D fighting game, which it is. Um, yep. It's a 2D fighting game, is it? Yeah. Anime. Of course. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you press R2 <laughs> and L2 together, and her shirt just comes bursting off. Titties <laughs> everywhere. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a, there's a crap to the um, Japanese fighting games that look identical to this. The Persona one, the Persona 4 one, which is really good. Um, if you play, yeah, this, play this when your parents are around, they'll think you're watching a porno. <laughs> Pretty much. A lot of grunting, a lot of hybrid squealing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Doctor Who game, The Edge of Reality. Great. What's that coming out? Is that a CD-ROM game? <laughs> <laughs> it's a CD-ROM. <laughs> <laughs> Comes through the magazine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Doctor Who. What's that coming uh, out? To VR experience. Um, PC, PS4, and Switch. Really? What's a VR not. game? Uh, it's probably. Let's have a look. I would be imagined the VR experience with brand new gameplay. So, it's a VR game, but not in VR. Basically. Oh, great. Yeah. Not cool. too, I'm not a big Doctor Who. I'm not a Doctor Who guy at all. Actually, I know there are people that love that, but I've never been into it myself. It used to be well, back when it was David Tennant. Yeah, yeah, David Tennant and Matt. What's his name? And then I got lost. Lost cool. track. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Matt. Oh, I can't remember his name. Matt Smith. Matt something. Yeah, yeah someone. Matt Smith. He was good. Plays, uh, uh, Prince there. Philip in the Crown. Prince Philip. Yeah. 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 Cool. Uh, I think that's all the major ones. Uh, Dark Side is coming to Switch. That's a good game. Oh yeah, good game. And the Gang Beast, which is on everything, is now coming to Switch as well. Cool. That's a good fun <laughs> game. Yeah. And I think that's about it for the big games of the month. Jeez, I mean, that's a stacked month. That's super stacked. Yeah, I think biggest games are oh, so many big games. So Diablo 2 is huge. Uh, Kane yeah. of Witcher Spirits is huge. Yeah. Uh, Judgment um, is huge. It's huge. Deathloop is Deathloop. massive. Yep. Wario, Wario is going to be popular. Life is Strange is going to be popular. <laughs> yeah, Tales of Bride, if you're a you nerd like me. Uh, Sonic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, geez, the medium will be popular on PlayStation, you would imagine. Yeah, uh, it's huge. Jeez, that's a, this is a really good month of games coming out. Surgeon Simulator is free, so that'll be popular. Yeah, that'll be all over YouTube, no doubt. Yeah, too. Oh, yeah, one hundred percent it will. We missed the biggest game of the month. I can't believe it. And it's not loading. No, Bus Simulator Twenty One. <laughs> <laughs> The most comprehensive and advanced fleet in the history of the series. Of course. <laughs> I took the trailer. Bus simulator. It's not like certain simulators, it's actually a legitimate simulator game that exists. Yeah. The fact that they bring one out every single year. What, what could you possibly add? Yeah. <laughs> this has a new bus. This one's blue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's See, no I'm gameplay, it's just buildings. Look just, at all just these buildings. Streets. Yeah. <laughs> Great. This, this is where a bus goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. It's, so that's it's, about it's it. very hard to pick uh, the biggest game of the month because, I mean, the biggest selling game of the month will be NBA. Yeah. But Deathloop will do. What, oh God, there's there's a, this is a really good month. Fucking hell! If you if you dislike money like Finn, <laughs> this is your month. <laughs> yeah. I like money now. But, There's yeah, something but for that, everybody here. Yeah, big time. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Diablo 2 is like a massive deal for a lot of people. Yeah. Cool. And of course, Evo. Yeah, I mean, that's free, so... Yeah. Cool. Yeah, a lot of people try that. Oh, yeah, I, th I think with it being free to play, I'll have a, big, a much bigger player base. But wow, what a month. Incredible. Something for everybody. Literally yeah. something for everybody this month. Big time. Do you like first person cool. shooters? That Sandstorm games there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks like every other FPS of all time. Pretty much. And they like, ripped off the Spec Ops uh, box art. Yeah, go play Spec Ops. That's way better, probably. Yeah. It's on. It's probably. It's on uh, 360, isn't it? So if we can play on the Xbox One or Xbox Series, whatever. If it's, I think it's backwards compatible. I'm not sure. Probably. It's on PC. I have, a, I have a feeling it's on PlayStation now, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to sort of be quoted on that and then be. It might be. Um, proved wrong by our resident PlayStation experts in our Discord. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yes, now. If it isn't, dust off your PS3 and go and play it there. 
Um, yeah, there's like it is. Oh, right, cool. Line. What a guess. Oh, yeah. Educated nice. guess. I think I, I think I remember seeing it. Yeah. So, yeah, if you have a PS Now, check it out. It's awesome. Yeah, it is. Truly awesome. Um, we've picked that game up way too much. But like, People are going to come <laughs> to us now and be like, what are you talking about? That game was horse shit. <laughs> This is just, like, game, gameplay wise. It is you know it's a third person shooter, but it's the story and the setting and you know everything else. It just makes it really good. Yeah, I agree. Totally agree. Um, right, yeah. So uh, good, solid month in September for games. Not you good did. if you um, are a fan of having money. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but we're getting we are getting to that time of year now though, where games are coming mm. sort of thick and fast. Mm. You know, October. You get FIFA and Call of Duties around that time. You're going to have Battlefield this year as well. Um, yep, yep. There's just there's loads of games coming out, loads and loads of games. But uh, yeah, good. It's good. It's good that something's for everybody. Mm. Yeah. Good yeah. time to head. Um, before we uh, start the wrestling segment, um, just want to say uh, rest in peace to Daphne, um, formerly. Uh, worked in WCW and uh, TNA. Uh, yes. She uh, sadly passed away um, today at some point. I don't know the details, but uh, yeah, uh, rest in peace, Daphne. And uh, to anybody listening who does struggle with their mental health, uh, you're not alone. If, if you feel like you are struggling, speak to somebody. There are so many organizations out there. and so many people that are willing to listen to you. So uh, you're not alone at all. No, I do not. No. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to wanted to mention that. I didn't want to sort of do the go through the whole podcast without sort of mentioning it, as it was sort of uh, mentioned before we started recording tonight. So yeah. Um, also, this Sunday uh, we're going to be here live for the buy-in before the buy-in oh, AEW yeah. All Out 2021 pre-show. Um, I've put it to go live at quarter past eight so i'm just gonna guess that that's okay with everyone else no i have something to do it's precisely at quarter to eight i'm joking yeah that's sounds good to me cool <laughs> quarter past eight, sunday that's yep. uh british summertime not european time um <laughs> Damn, I got the time wrong. but we'll be live on facebook um <laughs> both hours and powered four tvs facebook page um and our youtube channel as well so come along chat to us talk all things all out so i think you're an aw so mark now uh, I am pretty much. I was dynamite again. Tomorrow, three weeks in a row. Amazing. Wow! And you've ordered it all out. I have. I've ordered it. Yeah, ready to go. I'll probably stay and watch it because I you, ate myself. Are you, are you fully <laughs> invested now? I am. I am fully one hundred percent invested. You know, I've learned who the wrestlers are. <laughs> I like Good. seeing like guys like you know Malachi Black, um, and kind of course like Chris Jericho, Matt Hardy, guys like that. Yeah. And just been doing things that they should have been doing this whole time, but in a new, fresher company with new, yeah. you know, just, yeah, it's nice. It's good. It's good wrestling, and I like it. I like good wrestling. Yeah, I think yeah, good <laughs> wrestling is the perfect way to describe it, because that's exactly what it is. It's good wrestling. Um, we'll get to Dynamite shortly. Um, did anybody suffer through Raw this week? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I watched the highlights. Um, yeah. So it started off good. The triple threat um, US title match was very good with Sheamus, mm. uh, Damian Priest, and McIntyre. Uh, Sheamus, of course, coming to the ring saying, "That's very quiet." Can you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Demo, 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 demo. <laughs> it just, it just made me laugh. That's been put in. I asked for that to be put in. People are probably going, well, that's not funny. It just made me laugh the way he, he's like shuffling down the ring. Demo, 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 like that. And it just, it, I, I rewound it about five times. It just really did. Yeah. I don't know what he's trying to be. I don't know whether he's trying to be like, a, like, I don't know. He kind of like Brad Pitt in. Um, Snatch. Snatch. Yeah, yeah, I don't know whether he's trying to be that sort of, you know, uh, that sort of character, a little bit quirky, but yeah, it just it just tickled me the yeah. way he did it. Especially with that famous. thing in his face as well. <laughs> yeah. Hello. And, he's, and this big sort of coat, he just looked ridiculous. And it just <laughs> made me laugh. Looks like, it looks like, he looks like a man that is kind of, I'm a veteran now, 
I'm just going to go out and have a laugh and I'm going to enjoy <laughs> the last few years I've got as an active wrestler and fair play to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? But yeah, no, so. great match. Proud to enjoy it. Um, mm, it was good. So yeah, start off good and then kind of devolve quickly into the mountains as it often does. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Karrion Cross, no reaction for him. I've watched, I saw the match on Twitter earlier on and it was just, the entrance is brutal. I can't even... Yeah, it was no, he's, he's done. That's it. He's done. They've ruined it. Yeah, so even if they bring in um, Scarlet now and give the entrance back, people just, you know, they're not, not going to be invested because they've already seen him lose to Jeff Hardy and have these, you know, pretty basic matches. Yeah. Thing is, they, they should have just waited until he lost the title. Yeah. And then have him come up. It would have had a better reaction. Um, I mean, obviously, you can't ever guarantee that it would be booked any better because the likelihood is that it wouldn't be. But... They should have just waited, and now they've ruined it. Yeah. Just like, you know, it's, putting him in this ridiculous gear and stuff, it's like when they brought the Ascension up. Yeah, yeah. And they made them do them stupid vignettes, and you just think, you just don't, you don't get it, do you? What we loved about them when they were in NXT is what we want them to be on the main roster. You don't need to change anything about them. Yeah, yeah. stupid. But they're, they're, that's what it. they do. They're like they bring these people up and then they change them. And yeah. you know, I, I I just I don't even I just I can't even with Raw. I've not I've not watched it. I've kept up with the results and what happened loosely on social media. But you know, Randy Orton's the number is is going to be challenging for the WWE title. <laughs> yeah, it's like they just put in a bunch of names in a hat. It's like hmm, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Randy Orton. Okay, <laughs> it's the no, nobody else. Nobody else that could do it. I know, crazy. Nobody, nobody else who can lose in a match to Bobby Lashley, which is what will happen. Because... Yeah, I'll give it to someone who's never had a match before. Give it to like, someone like John Morrison or, you know, Xavier Woods. Why not? Yeah. Um, yeah. Just, anyone. Just anyone. <laughs> anyone different. Anyone else. Yeah. But, you know, you have to... Also, do we seem to have this obsession with putting people who are already champions in other championship matches? Yeah. Because yeah. Randy Orton, obviously, and Riddle are the tag team champions, aren't they? So... Mm-hmm. Now Randy Orton's gonna so the tag team champions aren't gonna have a match at Extreme Rules, but Randy Orton's gonna challenge Bobby Lashley for the WWE title. It just it doesn't make any sense. Like you're devaluing the tag team division by not having that defended on the pay per view. Yeah. So you just have your tag team champions be a tag team, and then have other people be fighting for the main title. Yeah, yeah. It made, made perfect sense. And yeah, get, 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 you had uh, Xavier Woods pin Bobby Lashley was long ago, and I want to give him the shot, you know? Yeah. It'd be like an underdog story. People like Woods. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's anything. <laughs> Plus, it's obvious have. that whoever Lashley fights is going to lose because um, it's going to be Lashley versus Goldberg again in Saudi, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. not sure if it's been officially announced, but that's definitely what's going to happen. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, well, I think the... Um... The, the clip that they showed of Goldberg where he was being interviewed on the way to his car. He actually said, I um, don't want Bobby Lashley's title. I want his soul or something like that. So maybe yeah, maybe Lashley. Bobby Lashley does lose the belt to Randy Orton and that match happens anyway because it's kind of a grudge match rather than a title match. Maybe. Maybe. Easily. Hey, maybe. Uh, look, plans change real quick. I mean, apparently oh, Vince is backstage yeah. at Raw this week going absolutely ape shit. Yeah. Um, like anything he puts out at the minute is any good that he can has any right to go ape shit. <laughs> yep. I mean, could you imagine being backstage, like being told that this is probably what was going to happen tonight? You're going to be on the show because wasn't it supposed to be Miz versus Morrison this week? Yep. Uh, yeah. And that 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 was taken off the show, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it wasn't never mentioned. Yeah. It just wasn't there. Yeah, Alexa Bliss had like a thing with Charlotte Flair last week. Apparently, no mention of it again this week. Yep, she she was yeah she was there. I think she's tweeted or put on Instagram that she was there, or someone said that she was there, ready to go out and do her bit. And then you know yeah, Vince, what the hell is going Vince, on? Vince ripped the script up apparently quite a few times before it went live. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, according to the reports, it was the angriest people have ever seen mm. him backstage at TV. And that's saying something, isn't it? Because I imagine yeah. he's lost shit over the years. So... Can you give him a heart attack? <laughs> just feels like a bit of a mess, doesn't it? 
yeah. it feel it does feel like a real mess at the minute. Um, but, you know, I feel like we're you know I feel like all we do is come on here and we bash, WWE, we bash <laughs> Raw, and it's not for wanting to do so. It's because it doesn't give us a, it doesn't fill us with any positives to to actually be positive about it. You know, yeah. it's. I mean, Finn, did anything of remote interest apart from that triple threat match happen on Raw? Yeah, well, that's a night match. Well, that, that's... yeah. God, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Handbags um... of Dawn with Nia and Charlotte slapping each other. <laughs> Although that was a stiff shot from Nia. Holy shit. Yeah, nice. It was, uh, uh, apparently that was legit, uh, a, le- mm. a legit shoot. That that little bit. Yeah. Well, it looked that like was... it was a mess. So it looked, it that, just that looked was, a mess. That... Yeah, that was real. That was them giving him receipts to each other. And then apparently yeah, all was well afterwards. So. Mm. Weird. Because um, Naya dropped, Naya dropped <laughs> it, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. I saw that. There's, there's a shock. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we had uh, Rhea Ripley beating Shayna Baszler. Uh, Viking Raiders beating Jinder Mahal and Veer from the whatever that is tag team. Um, Do Drop beat up Eva Marie before the match. Way. Way. Uh, <laughs> Karrion Cross beat. Humberto Carrillo, Omos to beat uh, John Morrison, AJ Styles beat Xavier Woods, and RK Bro beat Bobby Dashley and MVP. Mm. Mm. Um, I just want to stop you there a minute. Um, Squinny is just put in our Discord. Okay. Going to try and pop myself by posting in here when you might be recording, and then I <laughs> may hear the noise when uh, watching and listening to the pod. Uh, well, jokes on you! I've turned up Discord. Uh-huh. So somebody hasn't though. It might actually be me. <laughs> oh right, <laughs> it's not me. It's certainly not me. So no, it's me because I have heard the noises. Oh right, <laughs> I haven't heard them. Have you not? No, no. not at my end. Oh good. There we go. Jokes on you, Squinny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Even though we just brought it up uh-huh. in the podcast. Ah, uh, you win nah, this we week, okay? It. But next week, <laughs> no winning for you, okay? You win this round. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've won the battle. You've not won the war. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, um, but yeah, Nia Jax can... Why is she still... She, she won a match. So she's going to get a title match. If she ends up winning the title, just... Uh, and she probably yeah. will. So starting to win it back and get, become another 47-time champion. Well, that's exactly what's going to happen, isn't it? Yeah. She's injured so many people. I went through a list before I got one here, actually. Um, she's injured Bailey. Um, was that? Her shoulder in 2017. Uh, she's injured Charlotte before. Um, she punched Baker Lynch in the face. Give him yep. a bloody nose at that time. Uh, Ember Moon. She injured Ember Moon really badly, and she's only just come back recently in NXT. Uh, Kobe Saint twice. Threw her head at threw a head first into steel steps and almost broke her neck doing a bloody buckle bomb which actually got the mood banned, banned for like a few weeks or month <laughs> um, <laughs> Mandy Rose got hurt where have you had this list? Uh, it's from my website uh, Lena Vega threw her over the chop rope onto the floor well yeah. done <laughs> I don't remember that and she chokeslammed um, Dana Brooke head first with a botched chokeslam move oh thing. god yeah. <laughs> whatever that was supposed to be uh, so yeah why is she still working god knows other than well, she's related to the rocks this is probably why we're all related to the rocks at this <laughs> point pretty much <laughs> yeah can't you see the resemblance <laughs> yeah everybody's related to the rock I mean they've just um, recruited Jimmy and Jay's Jimmy and or Jay's younger brother to the performance centre now we've got to think of another and or joke <laughs> Jimmy and or Jay and or the other guy yeah and or the other guy yeah. <laughs> you know everyone's Andor related to the rock yeah yeah well, piss off <laughs> you're related to the rock it's all draw anyway <laughs> I want to ask a um, a serious question here okay have we all lost a little bit of interest in NXT. Um, yeah, ever since seen that logo, yes. I don't hate the logo, <laughs> right? I don't hate the logo, but what concerns me the logo, but... is the level of 
interaction that Vince and Bruce Pritchard are going to have. Now, there's been conflicting reports. One says they were going to be producing the show. One said that Matt Bloom, William Regal, Triple H and Shawn Michaels were still going to have that sort of creative control, but it was going to look very much like a Vince McMahon and co product. Yeah. I mean, I'd be okay with that. It's just, you know, all the style. I really like, like the, the heavy metal and like the gothic look. It's Triple H, you know, obviously a big fan of. Yeah. And like, yeah, Slipknot and Boppy and all that. I really enjoyed that. I love that whole thing. And now, no, it's getting take, now it's getting taken away and it's going to become this like rainbow colored Wale theme songs thing. Nothing against Wale. Um, I know it's a huge wrestling fan, but just not my kind of, not my style, you know? No, which is, which is <laughs> totally fair. And I think a lot yeah. of the, the sort of NXT casuals or the NXT, not casuals, the, <laughs> the NXT hardcore. faithful are probably yeah. going to walk away from the product now. Yeah, that's, that's, that's when I first saw it and, you know, I was asking my mom, like, ah, oh, is it ruined? <laughs> because obviously the hope is, from WWE standpoint, or at least Vince McMahon's standpoint, is that he obviously feels that he can bring more eyes to the product if it looks different. Yeah, more the more casual fans. But you are going to have to promote it more on Raw and SmackDown. You can't just yep. show one advert and be like, NXT this Wednesday, live on USA or whatever day it's on. Yeah, you know? they, keep, they did a couple of false starts. Like they bought on like, that Survivor Series, they had an NXT team. And it looks like they were going to like, advertise it more. And then after Survivor Series, it just kind of went away. And yeah. then they had Charlotte win the NXT title. She went back to NXT, lost, and put nobody over in the process. And then she never, never, never mentioned it again. It's like, yeah. Stupid. So you're going to have to actively show the angles on main roster TV. Yeah. Because you're never going to get more people tuning in if you treat it like an afterthought. So if <laughs> Vin Vince wants it to succeed in his way, then they're going to have to really push it. Yeah, They're, they're going to have to do something um, to promote it heavily on Raw and SmackDown uh, and on their social channels and on their YouTube channel. They're going to have to really push it because otherwise it's not going to do bigger numbers. It's just going to do the same or less numbers. Yeah, Because yeah, you can't exactly. treat it like an afterthought. So NXT has that core, you know, what would be weekly around in in the states 700,000. Mm. And then you've got its core amount of fans over here which I doubt changes week on week. And you know if you want that to grow because you know AEW is growing weekly but they're doing such an amazing job of promoting it everywhere. Yeah. Whereas you know when you watch Raw apart from that coming soon thing for NXT with a new logo when do they ever promote NXT? Yeah, exactly. They even even they're just like a takeover. They don't they barely mention no. like takeover. No, they don't. They had a piss. They had the NXT champion <laughs> lose in three minutes to Jeff Hardy. Yeah. But if they, why would you watch it? That's, oh, a, that's a very that's a burial if you've ever seen one, isn't it? And I don't just mean of, I don't just mean of Karrion Cross. It's a burial of the whole show. It, it is. is. It's yeah. almost, it's Vince flexing his muscles and going, "Yep, yeah, I'm going to bury your product." Which yeah. is effectively my product, but yeah. We let you do what we, we want. But the hardcore fans, they prefer your product over my product. So fuck your product. I'm going to squash the champion in three minutes. It really doesn't make, like you say, it really doesn't make sense. That if you want more eyes on it, why why aren't you promoting it more on your uh, flagship show? Well, they're going to have to now. Show. Well, they are. And I think something that I think would be quite cool is is you've obviously got the brand split. So you've got your Raw and your SmackDown. But why not have NXT, obviously, its own show, but occasionally they pop up in Raw and SmackDown, but do something good, not get squashed or, you know. And then, you know, that can build to like a Survivor Series like we had the other year, where it becomes like a, a three-way, a three-brand three um, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I just think it'd be really cool. You know, it'd be, it'd be great to see, to see certain people you know, going on to NXT because they're because someone on NXT arrived on SmackDown. So then they're going to say, right, I'll see you on Tuesday on NXT. Yeah, people, why not have NXT people matches go, on Raw? Exactly. Yeah, and then people yeah. will go, oh, I'm going to tune into NXT. This is cool. You know? Even just to promote it a little bit. You know, yeah, even, yeah. If, even if it's like the following NXT contest, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, you, you're right. You can sort of get others involved 
from the main roster in that. Yeah. And then they'll be like, oh, well, then people, like casuals and the kids and stuff watching, they could be like, oh, I want to watch, I now want to watch NXT. Yeah. Because I want to see this person on NXT next week, like you said it was going to be. And yeah. then, I, I, I do wonder whether just thinking about them when you were saying about casuals and the younger audience, kids, that sort of thing. I do wonder if that's because. I always get the impression, you know, we've we've been to okay, we've been to Takeover UK, we've been to yeah. and we've been to a couple of shows. The, the demographic is kind of eighteen to thirty five, isn't it? It is for those yeah. for those shows. You don't get the younger younger audience, you know, your kids with your John Cena t shirts aren't watching NXT. I don't, I can't imagine. No, um, I don't think I mean, they are. That's what I'm trying to, you know, you have to, only have to look at the crowd at NXT to see that it's. Over the years, I mean, you look who at the crowd. Really, you, yeah. You have yeah, the I mean, occasional I mean, child there occasional. who's there with their dad. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you, you got the, the girl that was the, the Bailey. Yeah, uh, the Bailey fan. Oh, yeah. um, Is uh, he? So you do get yeah. it, but yeah, yeah. So uh, I... I um, it's very few and far between. It's not like main roster where you cut oh, to the crowd it's, and it's all kids and it's all kids, parents. John's t-shirts, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, which is fine, but... I mean, I, I watched um, I watched NXT last night, and I really didn't enjoy it. So I it messaged felt, you and I said, "I yeah. said I've, I've not I've not enjoyed this episode." It felt different. Uh, there's already, a lot of, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of new big guys. Like a couple of new guys joined the Diamond Mine, who you know mm. was just were big generic guys. Um, yeah, Carly Riley feuding with. I forget his name, but he's, he was in the new superstar. And the just, Australian guy. Yeah. Yeah, with the awesome name. name. Yeah. Yeah, he has, to, he, yeah, he has got. Let me have a look. Um, I can't remember his name. I feel like he's got Baron in his name or something. No. Um, NXT results. Hang on. Let me just Google reminds, it and I'll. It reminds me of Wade Barrett a bit. Yes. Yeah. He does. Yeah. Oh, that was a new, that's probably one of the better matches of the show. Kind of at least, you know. You get a good yeah. match out of anyone. Don't get me wrong. There's some there's some guys on uh, and 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 uh, female wrestlers as well on NXT that interest me. You know, I'm, I'm a I'm I really like Ridge Holland. I think he's mm. I think he's I think he's class and he's gonna he could go on to do great things. Samoa yeah, Joe is obviously in. That's, like, that's the one. Yeah, great, great name. Um, you know, I like Kaylee Ray as well. So it's great to see her in there. But I just yeah. I don't know. I just kind of sat there last night watching this, thinking. Is this what it's going to be like now every week? It just didn't. I don't know. It just didn't feel. Again, okay, we've got to give it a chance. You know, this this rebrand. You know, might yeah. because it just feels like a complete one hundred and eighty, doesn't it? Look, it was always the it was the black and gold brand, like you said, Finn. It was the the, the heavy music, that gothic look. You know, mm-hmm. your your kind of indie. St- you know, your indie stars that were a bit different unique you know like your alistair blacks and you know finn ballers and people like that it just feels like a complete 180 now you look at the logo it's all bright colors it's the complete opposite mm-hmm. yeah it's, it's, i it's mean literally did, night and day isn't it do, do they change the championships now as well the, the, the way the belts look wouldn't surprise me yeah probably. yeah it's it's a, it's a tough one because i i've lo- always loved nxt you know since Ooh, wwe network yeah, came yeah. along and it was, yeah. you know, easily accessible for us. Loved NXT, and I've loved watching it grow over the years. But now that's sort of being taken away from us, and we're going to get some... Look, I'm not against change. No, no, I'm no, not no. against change at all. But I... I don't know. I, it almost NXT almost felt like it was for us. You know, yeah. the main roster was for families and for the kids and all that sort of stuff. But NXT was for wrestling fans like us. Yeah, I've got yeah. nothing against change, but... I feel like it doesn't need to be changed. Is that why? What's the point of changing it? Just advertise think, it more. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, People advertise it, it more, and yeah. you, you know, attract more people. Like, you know, so kids get kids get taken to wrestling by their parents who ne- don't necessarily like wrestling, hmm. but they watch it because their kid watches it. But if you give them a wrestling that they can enjoy, that's not yeah. aimed at children. That's what NXT is. But uh, like, I mean, like you know, like we've all said, we're not against change it's more a case of you know if it isn't broke don't fix it but just promote it more but they're gonna have to promote this to the hilt because otherwise change is pointless 
<laughs> yeah, nothing will change. They're, if they're not going to show NXT clips or have some sort of NXT involvement uh, on Raw and on SmackDown, you know, it, it's not going to get more viewers. No, we'll get less because all we'll hardcore fans will leave. And yeah. then, then we don't we'll just watch AEW. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. mean, it's no surprise that there was a, you know, that the, the people, AEW is now doing bigger numbers since NXT left Wednesday nights. Yeah. Because those people that would have religiously watched NXT are now watching it on a Tuesday. And so they're getting around 700,000 per week uh, around there. But now yeah. NXT is doing over a million per week. So, you know, th- we, 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 you know, it's not difficult to see the demographic for the two shows, for those two shows, the kind of wrestling fans that are watching those two shows. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's wrestling fans like us. I think I think as well because because it's aimed at wrestling fans like us uh, wrestling fans it feels like it's aimed at wrestling fans of a certain age. When you hear or see reports that Vince is going to take control, whether that is true or not, because we do you know we understand or we have an interest in the sort of the, the backstage and the politics and the way mm-hmm. things work. Hearing that Vince is going to be heavily involved and knowing how bad Raw has been for the last sort of God knows how long and how up and down SmackDown can be on occasions, it automatically puts you off. The only thing I can liken it to, and I apologize, Finn, but it, it, for this for this comparison, it's like when your football team gets a new manager and they've been unsuccessful everywhere else they've been. And you think, oh, for God's sake, yeah. why have we got them? I've got to watch this every week. And, that, and, yeah. and that's how... When I when I read and watched a couple of videos and heard that you know Vince is going to take control of NXT and have, I just thought to myself, I don't need a third. No, a low par wrestling show. A third Vince McMahon life. production. Yeah, yeah, I don't need another <laughs> Vince McMahon Bruce Pritchard production. I don't yeah. need it. No. When I mean, it's, NXT it's... was so good. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks like September the fourteenth, uh, when the ne- when NXT returns to live shows, that's when the change is going to happen. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, cosmetically, it's going to look different. Okay, that yeah, much yeah. I can that much I can accept. Um, you know, the conflicting reports. The the more up to date one is that Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Matt Bloom, and William Regal are still going to be heavily involved on the production side, but it's going to look like it's going to look like a Vince McMahon show. So it's going to mm. look like a very polished WWE product, yeah. which is fine. But again, you need to promote it. Otherwise, there's, there's no point. And yeah. so it's going to be interesting. We've got a couple of weeks to sort of see, um, you know, what happens with NXT, what the future holds for it. You know, are there more releases on the way to make, you know, space on TV for, you know, these new guys from the Performance Center? That you know, the there's, that, of, there's more cuts to come in. Yeah, I can so. imagine there is. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine that there is. Yeah. But you know, some of these mm. guys, maybe some of the higher end NXT guys, are on better money, are on good money. Yeah, yeah. maybe. But again, just what it, transition them to the main roster if you have to. Yeah, but do make something with them. Make use of these. <laughs> make use of these talented people you've got. Yeah, oh, it's such a it's such a bizarre company, and that, at the minute, and that's what makes it difficult to enjoy because you don't know what you're going to see from one week to the next. At least, you know, with AEW, it is coherent. It is, you know, there is build and build for reason. They tell you what's coming every week and it's coherent with what's happened, you know, in the show that night. Whereas you don't know what's going to happen on Raw week to week. No. I mean, who saw Randy Orton (laughs) being the number one contender for the WWE Championship? Not me. Yeah, when they do advertise things, it's not there. They change it. Um, exactly. Oh, it's <laughs> going to be Miz versus Morrison. Uh, yep. Yeah, no, it's not going to be there. But we're not even going to tell you why. So yeah. just just guess, I suppose. Read the internet. Or like Charter Banks versus Bianca Belair. We're going to advertise that all night, even though we know Charter Banks isn't here. Yep. And <laughs> yeah, if she's not there, tell us. Yeah. You know, AEW have bad. pulled Puck versus Andrade from All Out because Puck can't get in the country. Yeah. Because he's out us. of the country at the minute. And they yeah. told us. Yeah. They were straight up honest with us because they don't want to insult our intelligence. Yeah, I felt bad watching watch SummerSlam, like the moment when Carmella came out and there's some kids with like Sasha Banks signs there. He looks so disappointed. It's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, you can't. 
these are your paying fans, you see. Yeah. You yeah. don't. You, oh, God, it's uh, oh, subject to change. Yeah. They say. Yeah, mm. but I don't know. I think in this day and age, when the rumours were there all day it's, that it's, Sasha likely wasn't going to be there, tell us. Yeah. Just tell them. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm going to give NXT a chance. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm not oh, yeah, just going to watch. I'm not going to watch the first week and go shit and just turn it off. And then, you know, <laughs> yeah, permanently joking, delete nope. from permanently delete from my uh, from my planner. Uh, you know, I, I'm going to give it a few weeks. I, I, I maybe up up to like the next takeover and just see yeah. how how things build and you know see how things are. You know, yeah, yeah, well, it's yeah, it's not one of these. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna uh, talk negative about it. I'm gonna watch it anyway. I'm not gonna watch it <laughs> every week. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I just wanted to continue being as it is. Yeah, good. you want it to be the NXT <laughs> that you know and love. That's what I want as well. <laughs> exactly. But uh, you know, I'm not. I'm not against change. I'm not. A, not against new stars or building new stars. I'm all for it. Yeah, of course. Um, because these could be the people that are going to be carrying WWE for years and years to come. So I've got no. You know, problem with seeing them build from the very beginning, but uh, I don't know. I, I'm like you. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to reserve judgment on it. I'm not going to sit here and just, you know, panic because of the logo or the colours of the new logo. Yep, it's totally different, but you know, it, at the minute, it is what it is. So, yeah, yeah. we'll reserve judgment. September the fourteenth. Be here for the podcast after that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It when, was crap. It was awful. Yeah. <laughs> when Becky Lynch beats uh, whatever the <laughs> Raquel Gonzalez for the NXT Women's Title in three seconds. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. Don't. Um, don't. Yeah. Don't, don't jinx it. <laughs> it will happen. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Becky Lynch, Charlotte, a bit of anyone. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah Charlotte. True. But you know, SmackDown. It, it's raw. That's bad. SmackDown isn't really that bad. Oh, no, yeah, right. SmackDown's decent. Yeah. That was good. But. Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a big talking point for, uh, you know, in the weeks to come, NXT. We'll see how it progresses. And obviously, we'll talk about it on here. But, yeah, SmackDown, I don't really have anything too negative to say about it, in all honesty. I think it's uh, an okay wrestling show. Yeah. Um, Speaking of okay wrestling shows, this week's Dynamite, I thought was just okay. I don't think it was anything special. I thought it was – it didn't feel like a go-home show leading into a pay-per-view, if I'm being honest. Yeah, true. I feel like All Out could have done with happening a couple of weeks back. I said this in the Discord earlier on. But yeah. I feel like they've maybe had too long to build. And now they're sort of just uh, just throwing things together just to carry over until the pay-per-view when they can reset and, st- and start again. Yeah. Like it's been a couple of weeks now since CMO came out. Like It's still awesome that it's coming out every week. But every time it comes out, it's less special. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's still very yeah. cool. But yeah, I think when he starts wrestling, that you know that specialness will come back again because it's real. Yeah. Then you know he's actually wrestling. But yeah, I get. I mean, the crowd weren't great this week um, for a Chicago crowd. They weren't great at all. Yeah. But yeah, you know, it wasn't. But it wasn't a bad show. I thought the the first match was good. The tag team match between um, Santana and Ortiz and FTR. Yeah, pretty good. I thought that was really good. Um, but it was the stuff in between. That, um, I just didn't. That wasn't for me. But again, I think it's just a case of them putting stuff out there just to get to all out. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I thought Jericho and MJF had a good, you know, good promos. Yeah. Um, but you know, I, I wasn't into the Ty Conti and uh, Penelope Ford match. I didn't think I thought that was a bit of a train wreck. But cool to see Anna J back. Uh, great pop for Anna J as well, by the way. Really, really good pop. Um, uh, I thought the powerhouse Hobbs and Brian Cage match was a bit of a train wreck. I skipped that, to be honest. I'm not a massive fan of uh, of those guys, if I'm, if I'm honest. I like Hobbs. I'm, I've never really been a big fan of Cage, but um, you know he's good. But for me, he's, I don't know. He's not the kind of wrestler that I want to watch. Yeah. But, no. You know, I don't want to knock him. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to knock anybody. But. Um, that, that for me that match just didn't work you know it was a classic match of classic case of sort of no chemistry between the two wrestlers yeah yeah but you know you are going to get that not every match can be will osprey versus ricochet you know what i mean in terms of chemistry <laughs> no no hey remember ricochet that was cool um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah i mean and i thought the main event was was just fine 
you know, with um, the 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 eight man tag, Good Brothers and the Young Bucks uh, against Jurassic Express and uh, the Lucha Brothers. Good stuff. Some really cool spots. Um, but the stuff at the end felt unnecessary with like Kenny Omega coming in and the cage coming down and them beating everyone up and whatnot. It went on a bit, didn't it? It did, and I, I just I, I felt like it was too long and it didn't do enough for me. The match we already know the match is happening on Sunday between Omega and Christian and obviously the Young Bucks are defending against the Lucha Brothers. So that that didn't really do anything for me either. It didn't further anything, didn't make me want to see Christian beat Kenny Omega. Um yeah, he won't. <laughs> no, I, he won't he won't, definitely not. But yeah, that did nothing for me really. Um but hey look, I'm looking forward to all out. They've already sold me on it, they sold me on it weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was it was cool seeing CM Punk at GTS. Yeah, I felt yeah, that was cool. I felt the Derby and Sting came down way too late. <laughs> it used to take more, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Because they've been feuding with like they've had like that back and forth with two point oh and uh, is it Daniel Garcia, that's his name? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh for the last few weeks. And I thought they would come out and maybe sort of try and fight them a little bit earlier. But it seemed to take uh, quite the beat down on CM Punk for that to happen. Yeah. But look not every week is going to be a home run. No. Yeah, it was still a hundred times better than more. I know that oh, way. Yeah, <laughs> you, you still know the direction they're going in. Obviously, there's a pay per view this Sunday. But obviously, we've got Rampage on Friday, which looks like a great card. Yeah. Looks like a really good card. So I'm looking forward to watching Rampage. Uh, from what I uh, read, CM Punk's going to be on commentary. And I assume right, okay. that that's going to be because Darby Allen is wrestling Daniel Garcia. So CM Punk will probably be on commentary for that match. Ah, got you. Which makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. But all out the crowd will be wild. You know, I fully expect to see Daniel Bryan on Sunday. Mm. Um, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, Dragon. Yeah, <laughs> Dragon Which, Danielson. Because I read that they were moving his uh, debut up because of potential COVID scares with the New York show in a couple of weeks. Uh, that makes sense. Whether it happens or not is another thing. Um, Andrade's not got an opponent, so he could be a potential p- opponent. You know, Adam Cole uh, is. Yep. Um, a completely free agent could turn up. Yeah. Why the fuck would you stay with WWE at this point? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I mean, everyone else apart from Bray Wyatt is free to compete elsewhere now. Yeah. Interesting. Saw that Braun Strowman's doing a free or narrative uh, match against EC3. Uh, yeah. Uh, free or narrative is uh, this thing that EC3 is doing. It's really cool, cinematic. And uh, there was like a a teaser for it where Braun Strowman or Adam Scher uh, pulled up outside EC3's like garage thing, knocks on the door, and then they have like a, a face off. It's kind of cool. Nice. Um, so, yeah, there's, um, it looks like Murphy is going to impact. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, or whatever his name is now, Buddy something. Harrison? Matthew. Buddy Matthews, is it? Matthews. That's yeah. It. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it looks like he's mm. going to be going to impact at some point, which is cool. Um, but, you know, again, that doesn't mean he can't turn up in AEW as well because obviously that partnership. Yep. But, yeah, there's, yep. there's a lot of potential for All Out. Great card. Nine, ma- um, ten matches. Nine matches. Something like that. But yeah, um, a bunch. That's why we're going to start the pre-show a little bit earlier on uh, Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Good, so good we match. can get through the chat stuff and we can actually get through the matches as well. Yeah. 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 No, good idea. Yeah, but um, yeah, looking forward to all out. Looking forward to looking forward to rampage on Friday. Looking forward to all out on Sunday, and uh, you know, looking forward to doing our buy-in before the buy-in on Sunday. Again, that's on uh, YouTube, which you're probably watching this podcast on now. YouTube.com forward slash games graps, uh, Facebook.com forward slash games ungraps, and Facebook.com forward slash powered for TV. Um, anyone else got anything they want to say before we sign off? Uh, I think I'm good. Fine, I jacks. Cool. <laughs> Nothing from me. Cool. Well, in that case, guys, this has been episode 152 of the Games and Grabs podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts on all podcast services everywhere. 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 And youtube.com forward slash games grabs. And now on www.feedyourgeek.com. Mm. Yeah. ladies and gentlemen we will see you on Sunday night for the buy-in before the buy-in my name is Sonny G and I've been here with Finn Steele goodbye and Steve see you later and we'll catch you next time take it easy guys goodbye and thanks so much goodbye
Demo, 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 demo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>